Good morning. Today, Chancellor Rishi Sunak issues his spring statement or mini budget against a background of skyrocketing debt, impoverishment for a growing proportion of the population, increasing costs of all basics, essentials, energy and fuel. Conniving Sunak is eyeing the top job once Johnson has finally fallen, but in my estimation he'll have a long wait. Therefore, he will have to build upon his supposed popularity with the media and the voting mug public. Nothing else counts. He can be as generous as he likes, or more realistically give the impression of being so. Will he reduce fuel duty? Halt the national insurance rate rise for the low paid? Give us poorer pensioners a much needed increase? Or even reintroduce the £20 universal credit uplift boost? Even if he did, and he mostly won't, halting a dire economic slide for the impoverished third would be like chucking a drowning person a few more straws to clutch. And mostly, and he ain't going to do so. In clo cold reality, the situation will continue to deteriorate. Evictions, hunger, mental and physical problems exacerbated by poverty, absolute insecurity will increase. The government, the pitiful opposition, have no viable solution to the problems thrown up by decaying capitalism. They can speechify, exert divide and rule tactics, pose as statesmen, but cannot pursue this path successfully, indefinitely, sooner or later, as us anarcho malcontents and others as a versus inclination have been predicting, the whole UK feudal capitalist setup is going to implode and fall apart either of its own decadent volition or from street eruptions emerging from below and create a new politics to overthrow the status quo, the entire establishment, its system. So, suck on that slimy sunak. Bye.